guys welcome back to my channel today I will be doing my September favorites I'm so excited it is almost October it is my favorite month of the year September has been fun but overall I love October I love the fall so I'm excited anyway this month I have been trying out um, new products and a lot of new products and then some good some oldies that I have just loved forever um, I'm gonna actually start with my favorites as I would apply to my face the first thing that is not makeup related and it's just kind of a random but I love this thing so much it it really 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 helps on when you're using your eyeshadow brushes because I don't have a lot of um I have a lot of brushes but I don't have a lot of blending brushes I use like the same four all the time so um, I have the Vera Mona color switch solo this is just it's just like a little it's really dirty because I, I just used it <laughs> but um it is so awesome you can you can look up reviews online they have videos but you just dab in the color that you want it could be black it could be whatever and you just blend it into your eye and when you want to use another color you just swirl this in here and it cleans the brush it doesn't obviously you still have to clean your brushes and disinfect them but for that moment it takes away all the shadow and it makes it possible for you to reuse this brush right away with a different eyeshadow so I really 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 enjoy that the first makeup related favorite that I want to talk about is my hourglass mineral veil primer this is just my little travel size that I have left As I've mentioned before in my previous videos, I have oily skin. Um, sometimes combo oily, sometimes just an oily slick mess. And this primer has been so good to me in the summer. It um, it does. I feel so luxurious, so nice on the skin. And my makeup applies onto the foundation applies so flawlessly, but it extends the longevity of my makeup. And I don't get as oily as quickly. I can go like six hours before I start to feel like, okay, I look a little bit shiny. But even then, it looks like glowy, not oily. So I have, I bought the the mini one. I think that one's $18. But I, if, I am so going to get the big one once I'm done with these because this is so worth it and it's such a lifesaver. The next thing that I got that I honestly did not think that I was going to like as much as I do. Um, I have oily skin. And I don't really go for luminous or um, glowy, dewy foundations because within two hours, it's just, it doesn't look cute at all. So I've always steered away from those types of foundations. But for some apparent reason, I've been really, really wanting to try this specific foundation. And then I think... Um, a few weeks out of September, I was really, really dry. It was crazy to me. But I was getting like dry patches here. I probably dehydrated. Um, and I was like, you know what? What better time to try this foundation than now? And it's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Health Luminous Foundation. And I have mine in the shade W3 Nude Beige. And... It just makes your skin look so healthy and so glowy and so youthful and I really 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 like the way that it just sits on my skin I like the way that it applies I like the finish that it gives me I do have to use the hourglass mineral veil, veil primer if not it will not last throughout the day and it will start to look really bad and I have to use and I have to use a setting spray. I just, I have to. But I love the way that the foundation looks so much that it's, to me it's worth the whole process. It's a really good foundation. I really, really recommend it. And if you guys have dry skin, when I had my dry patches, I just put it on and it just kind of like, it didn't accentuate any dry skin. It didn't cling on to any patches and it just made my skin look revitalized and really healthy and dewy and I normally don't like that, but because I was so dry, I loved it, and then I couldn't get enough of it. I just, go get it. The next thing that I want to talk about goes join with um, my routine for my 
um, primer and foundation for the month, the, the ones I've been using the most, and it is my Urban Decay The Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I've had this for a while, um, and I think this is my second little bottle, and I absolutely love this. I use it when I'm done with all my, my face makeup, and I just set my face, like four or five sprays, and it really does help to like, it mattifies your skin, but it doesn't leave it looking dull. Um, and it really, really helps me be able to enjoy the, the Lumi foundation um, because it does prevent my makeup from getting oily quicker. So I really, really like it. Okay, the next thing that I have for you guys is my, my Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. I talked about this in my haul, and my shade is Classic Ivory. Um, this was collected, so I got this, I think... I think I, I bought this early September, or if not late August, something like that. Um, it, I've had it enough that I have fallen in love with it. Um, I love the way it's uh, it's one it's the under eye setting powder that I'm using today. Um, oh, by the way, I'm using my Mineral Veil Primer today and my Urban Slick Urban, Urban Decay Slick setting spray today as well. And then this Maybelline Fit Me powder, I just, I love the way it, 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 like, I have a lot of fine lines and the way that it sits on my skin, I don't feel like it accentuates those fine lines. And I really, really enjoy this. So this was like maybe five, six dollars tops and it is a great, great product. Um, because it is so, so fine, not fine, because it's so light, I can't use it all over my face. Um, because I need something that's going to mattify me a little bit more. But for under my eyes and for wherever I highlight it, I really, really, really enjoy this product. The next face product that I'm going to talk about, um, I think it's, yeah, this is, I think this is my last one. Um, it is the Hard Candy Baked Bronzer in Tiki. Obviously, this has been all over YouTube. And you can get these at Walmart. And this is not, definitely not, a fake bronzer. <laughs> this is a highlight shade. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like, gold. Like a, like a goldy. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right there. I have swatches all over my hands. <laughs> But it's this one right here. And it's just so pretty. It's a highlight that I'm wearing today. And um, I just really, really, really have enjoyed this. I really have. I like a lot of goldy highlights. Um, because I prefer um, a hint of gold in my, in my eye looks. So I just really, really feel like this is just flawlessly brings my looks together. And it just... I really really like it and it is, it's about $10 and it's a really good drugstore highlight so I really recommend it I've loved it this entire month I think it's the only one I've used actually um, okay the next thing I'm gonna talk about is actually um, lip products and this little trio is actually the trio that I am wearing today and it's just such a it's like a it's just a mix of colors that I really like the way they look together. Liner, um, the lip liner that I want to talk about is Max Lip Liner in Subculture. And it's a very nude... It's a very pretty nude. Um, it's a little peachy nude with a hint of brown, I actually want to say. Um, and it looks really pretty on as a lip liner when I first got it it was a little bit too light for I purchased it for my myth lipstick and it was a little too light I needed something a little darker to make myth not wash me out um, but um, when I, I find that when it comes to using like more peachy nudes or more pinky nudes um, lipstick this really really helps me build bring in the color without losing without making the look too dark so I really have loved this it's a lip liner I'm wearing today the next product, if I'm not wearing it by myself, I, <laughs> if I'm not wearing it by itself, um, I am wearing it in conjunction with that strip down. Um, or if not, like I did today, I lightly dab it. 
to kind of give a little bit more of a mauve color. And this is just the NYX Matte Lipstick. This is what the packaging looks like. The packaging is a little like flimsy and cheapy and I hate that sometimes you're applying it and, it, and it, um, it'll come down, but the color is so beautiful. This is in Whipped Caviar. And it's just a very pretty, like a deep rosy color. You guys can see that. It's very, very, it's very beautiful. Um, these matte lipsticks are not drying on the lips at all. And they are actually, um, they feel pretty creamy when you sit. Sorry. They sit really nice on the lips and I really, really enjoy them. And I really, really prefer matte lipsticks over anything. So if I can find a matte lipstick that is creamy and nice all day. The last lipstick that I want to talk about is Wet n Wild's, um, I think it's, it's the Wet n Wild uh, Matte Lipstick in Just Peachy. And the bad thing about these is that they get very dirty. The top gets very dirty. But the good thing about these is that they can, you can find them for $1.99, $2.99 tops. And sometimes you can get them on sale really really good lipsticks um, and they just feel so creamy so nice on the lips and this is this is just peachy and it's a beautiful beautiful peach color I just I love it and I love the way that it all looks together I really really have enjoyed those three for my lashes, I've really, 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 really used the crap out of my Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara. This thing is so inexpensive. Again, $2.99. I just bought a backup for $2.89. And it is such an amazing and volumizing mascara. It's a mascara that I'm wearing today. Two coats and that's it. You are good to go. You do have to clean the wand a little. When you take it, you have to like wipe off the excess because of that, it will get extremely clumpy. Um, but besides that, this is such a good mascara. I love it so much. And I love pairing this with my favorite high-end mascara. And this is the Too Faced. This is a sample. Um, this is the Too, not a sample, deluxe size sample. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It is such a good mascara. Um, it just hugs every every little lash and it's so good. I love um, putting this one first. I like using this one to thicken and like elongate my lashes. I really, really enjoy it for that. And um, then I love to put this one on because this one makes them look very, um, very fluffy and very, not just full, but just very wispy and fluffy and flirty. And I love these mascaras so much. And then for my bottom lashes, my Clinique, my Clinique bottom lash mascara has been everything. It's the only mascara that I've used on my lower lash line. It does not smudge. Um, it because the wand is so little, it literally picks, it, it grabs onto every little hair that you have on your lower lash line, and it just gives you a lot of control and it just really really helps to open up the eyes and just make your mascara and your look look so beautiful i love it the last thing that i want to talk about is the amazing anastasia beverly hills maya mia palette this packaging is gorgeous i love it the packaging i'm not a package a sucker for packaging but it is it's, i just love i don't know what it is about the colors that i love so much this is what the colors look like they are so, so gorgeous, so easy to blend, so easy to work with. All these colors look so good together. I love this color. It's very fresh. It has its warms and like a cool tone. It's a warm taupe, um, but it allows you to do different types of looks and you can get a really dramatic or you can keep it very fresh and very light. And I just, it's, so, it's such a good palette and it's so buttery, it's so so smooth so easy to blend it's just perfection as 
any other palette that I have from Anastasia is. And Maya Mia, it's, she's so beautiful. Her eye makeup is so gorgeous. And she, I, I've always been in awe by her eye makeup on YouTube. So I'm really glad. I was really excited when I saw that palette was coming out. And then she does the five. She, it comes with five get the look cards. And it's just so cool to see you know what she come up what she came up with and I've recreated like two of the looks and she just made it really 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 easy um, this palette is limited edition so I really suggest that if you guys like it get it go get it now I think they still have it in Sephora and if not you can get it on the Anastasia website I will link it down below so that it's easier for you guys to find but I really really do recommend it and it's so inexpensive it's $29 for such good quality it's really really worth it so yeah that's all of my favorites for the month I have really really enjoyed doing my makeup this month um, I've tried a lot of new things and it just makes it exciting to figure out ways to use products for yourself and to just find different ways to use the products and to just broaden your makeup creativity and I really really am very happy with all the purchases and all the discoveries and everything that I fell in love with um, and that I have been so obsessed with in September. A few surprises and a few things that I just can't believe I have <laughs> but I absolutely love. Um, I definitely recommend all of these. I don't think I really have anything that I haven't liked this month. Um, I've been trying a lot of stuff and I have been falling in love and obsessing over all of it. So yeah. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And just let me know whatever your interests are, whatever you guys want to see on my channel, whatever um, questions or requests you have, just put them in the comments below. I will do my best to please your request, answer your request. Just comment down below and I'll, I'll answer or do something. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will be back soon. Until next time, bye. Homegirl is having a conversation outside while I'm trying to record. She's lucky she ordered pizza. Oh, stay tuned sometime this week. I will be putting up a tutorial on this look um, just on my eye <laughs> roommate problems hashtag I'm gonna do that hashtag roommate problems um, I will be putting up a tutorial on this look that I have today on my eye look primarily um, because I received oh, what the heck <laughs> because I received the amazing Anastasia Tamana Tamana Tamana, Tamana, I really hope I'm saying that right, palette, and it is just gorgeous, and I love what I came up with, and stay tuned. Bye.